This is a fun issue in Rise. Can I change a thumbnail on a video? No. And we're, we're actually talking about the poster frame. So when a video comes up in Rise, it's that, that uh, thumbnail or poster frame. And people have been asking about it for a long time. Uh, this person brought with them receipts six years of receipts people asking for the same functionality they just want to upload their own thumbnail image and there's a lot of lot of discussion and the tech support seems to i guess they don't know what the issue is or they've probably figured out that they're, they'll never be able to uh, offer this feature not sure why but so rise actually uses this uh, video JS plugin uh, for handling their video player and it's actually free totally open source but there's a reason they may not want to modify that source code it's not their code so they're not gonna modify code that isn't theirs that would probably remove them from the upgrade process when when video js releases a new and improved version they want to have an easy transition to that new version so they're they're simply not going to modify their player code although we're just talking about the thumbnail uh, which may be a different process uh, than the native handling of this software i don't know but Okay, I'm a solutions guy. I love complaining about software as much as the next guy, but let's let's have a solution here. So here's here's what's going on. This is my course. I have a a video here, and it's got that poster frame already. And let me just show you what's what's going on. The, uh, people are complaining about a change in the in the color hard to tell here but you can see there's already a, two different oranges they should be the same so hopefully everyone can see this oh by the way this is i have a theme component that makes my play button smaller so did did you see a change there or no did i hit play yet okay just hit play we should see a change. Let me let's do it again. See that darker orange in the video? Suddenly it changes to the correct orange. Now it's I got that black line there. It's kind of hard to see. So the I took a screenshot of the actual video playing next to the original color. That is the rise original orange color. And as we can see, so there's a drop shadow. I'm gonna try to move this color over so i can actually see there's a drop shadow that's part of the interface makes it difficult to see what the uh, what the actual color is by the way someone needs to update my photoshop beta i'm gonna move my orange color over just to prove that it that video compression is fine ah you can see see that video color it's it's the perfect orange no problem with the video it's only an issue with that initial frame the, the thumbnail and there's a reason behind the thumbnail we'll we'll get to that real quick here is the solution i just set up a new document 16 by 9 ratio in adobe xd this is going to be my new thumbnail just go to export if you go into your assets folder all I'm gonna do is click on that thumbnail it's the same name as the video file as long as you know the name of your video file just click on that replace yes okay moment of truth here I'm, I'm gonna hit refresh I should see that new image there you go boom brand new thumbnail you can design that however you want Let's see how it looks with the original size of the play button. Okay, either one works. So, okay, that's how you can replace the thumbnail. Uh, okay, get rid of that file, don't need it. 
Here's that original thumbnail generated from Rise. I'm I was just curious, why is it shifting our color like that? If it's a JPEG, and it's only it's only 55 kilobytes, that is teeny tiny. The one I saved was like a megabyte or something. That JPEG coming out of XD. Then I looked at the color mode of this 55 kilobyte file. That is not JPEG compression. That looks like an, an, uh, that's an index color with dithered diffusion, we call it. And th that used to be the best way to save out web graphics back way back in the day. Do a nice dither diffusion on a photographic image. Today, no, nobody in the last 20 years has probably used this. Looks like Rise is using it, but it doesn't make sense because it's a JPEG image, but it doesn't look like JPEG compression. It's indexed color, which means a limited palette. You can see that's the palette. That is weird. That is a GIF image, but why is why is it a dot jpg that's jpeg compression so this is really weird that, that's why it's shifting it's using an adaptive palette but on top of that it's shifting that that primary orange it should be using that that orange if it's a gif i still don't understand why it's it's a named as a jpeg it's really strange but if if i do JPEG compression. You can see what a really crappy JPEG looks like compared to the the GIF or whatever it is. Nice and sharp. You just see a little bit of that dithering around the edges of, of the, the, the letters. So it's it's definitely not a JPEG. That's why this is such a weird such a weird issue. It's essentially taking your first frame or your video, making it a GIF and renaming it JPEG. That's probably why the color is so jacked. That is so strange. Anyway, and that happens on the server, I guess. Maybe Rise needs to look into the settings of, of uh, that they set up. That cannot be the factory settings. Someone must have messed with those settings at some point many years ago probably six seven years ago and no one ever ever fixed it and not everyone notices the issue that's why it's great the uh, e-learning heroes people will bring six years of, of receipts of the same issue and i think i'm getting close to the bottom of the uh, the issue anyway i just like to document the the reason behind these um issues and now what i'm doing here that that thumbnail generated from rise i was trying to save it as save as a, a jpeg again it won't let me it's indexed color it's not supposed to be a jpeg that's why this thing is so so weird i'm surprised it does it doesn't like throw an error in everyone's browser i can save it as a gif I would have to change the color mode to save it as as a, a JPEG. Anyway, I think I figured it out. I've got a solution, temporary solution, but hopefully Rise will realize there is something weird going on with the the color modes. And it's nice that it's a nice. Uh, a 55 kilobyte image it's very fat that'll load fast on anyone i don't care what your connection is that's going to load fast but as i just showed it if they just save it out as a decent sized maybe 60 percent jpeg like it's supposed to be a, a jpeg the the quality looks fine so hopefully we'll see some movement on this uh six year old image poster thumbnail mystery good luck